flight test crew here in the St. John neighborhood of Portland, Oregon. We are here to observe a prescribed burn being conducted by Portland Fire and Rescue. Their goal is to clear invasive species off a two acre parcel in the Baltimore Woods natural area. And our goal is to demonstrate the potential public safety applications of unmanned multi-rotor aircraft. The aircraft doing the heavy lifting in this demonstration is RQ-CX-3 Raven, a custom-built all-weather multi-role hexacopter. She weighs about 6 pounds at takeoff, measures 22 inches across, and has a proven maximum airspeed of 40 miles per hour. Raven is controlled with a conventional RC hobby controller, broadcasting on 2.4 GHz. Her demonstrated operating range is half a mile. She carries multiple cameras and a 5.8 GHz video transmitter sending back live images that the pilot watches in real time using a pair of video goggles. This type of RC flying is called First Person View, or FPV for short. Raven is all electric, powered by rechargeable lithium polymer batteries. Her flying time is five to seven minutes per battery, which can be rapidly changed out on the ground. We previously posted a detailed video about Raven on our YouTube channel. And there's also a write-up on our website under the Meet the Fleet tab. Alright, for today's flight operations we've got two cameras on Raven. We've got the GoPro Hero 2 as well as the FLIR Tau 640. The GoPro is a popular sports camera that records high definition video. The Tau 640 is a thermal imaging camera. Instead of visible light, the FLIR registers heat, making it potentially very useful in firefighting operations. The temperature of objects in its field of view are represented by a grayscale image. By default, the coldest object in the frame is black, the hottest object is white, and 256 shades of gray represent temperatures in between. The camera dynamically assigns different levels of gray to different temperatures in order to render the best possible image. As a result, it isn't possible to determine the actual temperature of an object in the frame based on the gray level assigned to it only whether it is hotter or cooler than the objects around it. Because the FLIR sees heat instead of visible light, it can see through visual barriers like smoke. During all of our previous outings with the FLIR, people were always easy to spot because they tend to stand out against a cooler background. However, people are cool compared to fire, so they tended to blend in a little more in this environment. One thing our friends in the fire service told us to look out for on the FLIR are hot spots. Burned over areas that appear to be extinguished, but which are actually harboring a smoldering fire that could reignite later. This firefighter is dousing an area with a hose that looks completely out. The visible light camera on Raven shows the same thing. However, when we change over to the FLIR, we can see that there is still some hidden pockets smoldering. Unmanned multi-rotor aircraft, like RQ-CX-3 Raven, can be used to quickly survey a burned over area looking for lingering hazards like this, as well as providing the incident commander with an overall perspective on the operation. I'd say our work here is done. Hope you enjoy watching. See you next time. Alright, fly safe. <laughs>